Toma, where are you? Primo, stop this nonsense at once! You get away from me, I'm going to do whatever it takes to save her! Primo, why I respect your admiration to try and save her? We can't help her if we don't know where her father is! I know I can save her! Just let me use my pendulum summoning and no one will stand in my way! Absolutely not! You can't just run on using summoning techniques for the future! Enough of your pointless dribble! I'm going to save Oscar and nothing you say will stop me! Enough with your favoritism! May I remind you that we don't even know where Toma is, so we can't even fix that right now! Why don't we focus on something we can fix? Like saving me! Or Gemini! Our fathers are actually on the damned island! And here we go again! Always caring about yourself, Jack! But never showing any compassion for someone else! Oh, fuck off, you bloody simp! Oscar never loved you, and you can't force her to love you! So what would you rather us do? You want us to focus on you? Oh, wait, we don't have to worry about that. Because your parents are so useless and pathetic duelists, the Barians aren't even targeting them! What the hell did you just say to me, you pompous rich? Enough! What is wrong with you two? You need to be working together, not against each other. Now shut up and quit bickering! You need to find my father, or at least to Ethan. We must save them. Absolutely not! Not yet. He's made this personal! And I won't rest until he pays for his crimes! For once, Primo, I couldn't agree more! Oh, isn't this just so lovely? Hey, love, what's the matter? All right, and this here's your dormitory. So, you're my new roommate, huh? The name's Ethan. Tell me, you any good with a deck? Name's Toma, and I'd say I know how to throw down. Really, no. Why don't we go put that to the test? <laughs> Not too bad. You're definitely a guy I can rely on. So what do you say? You want to be bros? Oh. Well, I'm really sorry to cut this short, but I really need to go. Oh, go? Go where? Right now, my best bro needs me, and I'm really letting him down, so I gotta go find him! I gotta do whatever it takes to find him! He would have done the same for me! Oh, that's one of the reasons why I love you. Best of luck! I know you can do it, I believe in you! Why, well, hey, since you're back on the island, I'm gonna go ahead and check in with my old dormitory. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. Oh hey, it's you! And you look fine in Toma! I'm sorry, but what are you talking about? Wait a minute, now that I think about it, when did you change clothes? What's going on over here? Oh, uh, well, according to this weirdo, I was supposedly in a different outfit and looking for someone who looks like you. The hell you mean this weirdo? We just told like ten minutes ago, and you were overly confident, picking on me and saying all those things. I even told you my name, and it wasn't somebody like him. You were looking for him. He was kidnapped. Oma, please help. He's making me very uncomfortable. All right, listen, Ethan. I don't know if this is your strange way of saying hello or if this is some kind of joke, but it is not amusing. Shut the hell up, Toma! I ain't talking to you yet! I'll get to you in a minute! Wait a minute, Toma! What are you doing here? I thought you were kidnapped! What in the world are you on about? Kidnapped? Kidnapped for what? And by who? We just arrived on the island! Well, congratulations on getting free! I'm so glad to see you're okay! Again, we weren't kidnapped. We just arrived from New Domino City. Wait a minute! So then you weren't kidnapped? And who was that Toma from earlier? And who was the other Oh, I'm terrified. The only explanation is you aren't the real Toma, and you're one of those variants I've been hearing about. All right, Buster, so if you want to prove you're the real Toma, tell me something only Toma would know. Like, I have a girlfriend. You have a girlfriend? That's right, buddy, I do. And only the real Toma would have known that. The hell I wouldn't? You never told me that. Oh, yeah. Guess you're right. Well, then, the only way to find out the truth the good old-fashioned duel! Hey, listen, while you duel Mr. Crazy, I'm gonna head back to my dorm. Very well, then. Let's do this. Let's do. Okay, I'll start us off. Now, let's see. What do I got? Okay, I'll start things off by activating the Black Whirlwind spell card. And with this card in play, every time I normal summon a Blackwing monster, I get to add another Blackwing monster from my deck to my hand, so long as that monster is weaker than the monster I normal summon. Next, I summon a Blackwing Mistral the Silver Shield in a defensive mode! And so now that a monster was normal summoned, Blackwing Whirlwind takes effect, and I choose to add Blackwing Go Food the Vague Shadow from my deck to my hand. Next, I activate the spell card known as Star Changer, 
So now I can add a level to my Blackwing Mistral to Silver Shield, so it becomes level 3! Next, because I control a Blackwing monster, I can now summon for Blackwing Borrow the Spear in attack mode! It's time for a Synchro Summon! Now, witnesses, my two birds of prey, now combine into one! I tune my level 3 Blackwing Mistral to Silver Shield to my level 4 Blackwing Borrow the Spear, so I'm able to Synchro Summon! Blackwing on the master! And now I play my final card against the wind! This allows me to use the monster in my graveyard so long as I pay their attack points and life points. So now, Blackwing Mistral the Silver Shield returns to my hand at a measly cost of 100 life points. Oh no, now he's got a tuner again! And with that, Toma, I end my turn. Rather impressive first turn, Ethan. But then again, I'd expect nothing less from a novelist blue. But now it's my turn, so stand back! All right, by revealing one Amazonist monster in my hand, I'm allowed to special summon Amazonist spy out to the field in attack mode. Next, I sacrifice my Amazonist spy, so I can tribute summon Amazonist queen in attack mode! And of course, what's a queen without some power? So I'm equipping her with the Lightning Blade spell card, giving her an additional 800 attack points! Now then, my glorious queen, take aim and destroy us Black Winged Armor Master! Due to Black Winged Armor Master's ability, I don't take any damage, and he's not destroyed in battle! Of course you'd luck out like that. Well then, to end my turn, I'm placing down two face downs. All right, time to take control of this duel! First, I summon Blackwing Gale the Whirlwind in attack mode! Now, since I normal summoned, Black Whirlwind now takes effect, and I get to add a monster who's weaker than my Gale the Whirlwind to my hand! And now it's time to topple the hierarchy! By activating Blackwing Gale the Whirlwind's effect, I can now cut your queen's attack points in half! Blackwing Armor Master, destroy his queen! Not so fast, I activate a trap card, Terrors of the Overroot! Now I get to replace one of your monsters with a monster in your graveyard! So say hello to your old friend, Borrow the Spear! Oi, what the hell?! I in my turn with a face down. Very well, then it's my turn. You've done well, Ethan, but I'm afraid this duel is now over, thanks to this card. The hell do you mean over? I still have all my life points left. What the hell did you just draw? I'll play it right now. I summon to the field Amazonist Princess in attack mode. Next, because she was summoned due to her ability, I now get an Amazonist spell card from my deck to my hand. Next up, I'm activating the trap card known as Queen's Pawn. Now, whenever one of my Amazonist monsters destroys one of your monsters, I get to special summon a level 4 or lower monster from my deck to the field. So, with that said, my queen, attack and destroy Blackwing Gale the Whirlwind! <laughs> Queen's Pawn now takes effect. So, from my deck, I special summon Amazonist Swordswoman! I now activate Amazonist Secret Arts! Now, behold, as the elegance of a queen and the strength of a warrior now combine into one! I fusion summon Amazon is Empress in attack mode! Now then my divine Empress, attack and destroy! Blackwing Borrow the Spear! <laughs> and finally, Amazon is Princess, wrap this up! Attack and directly! <laughs> oh man, not again! Why does this keep happening to me? Well, you won! And with skills like those, you definitely are the real Toma. Yeah, yeah, sure, whatever. Listen, I need you to confirm something for me. I was told Seto Kaiba was going to be here. Is he here? What, like THE Seto Kaiba? I mean, yeah, I heard he was gonna be here too, but I haven't seen him. What do you need with Seto Kaiba? So, you heard what they said, right? Do you believe what they said on the radio? You can't honestly tell me you believe they're gonna build that bridge. I mean, come on! We're trash to them. Would you let trash in your city? Choma, are you filling his head with lies again? Huh? But it's true! They hate us! Well, guess what? I believe it! Huh? There's no way you can honestly tell me you think they're gonna finish that bridge so we can have a better tomorrow. Well, of course I don't believe the demonizing government of New Domino City that treats us like trash is gonna build us a safe haven ticket! But I think we can! I think we could build the bridge! No matter how long it takes, we could build it! We could stop the oppression! We could be free! And we can get out of here! Oh, I'm serious! Golly. Someday we're all gonna be free! <laughs> 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 huh? 
<gasps> I can't believe it's been a whole year. I wonder how everybody's improved. What's the rush, trader? I'm sorry, what? You heard me. You lost the school duel. Then you abandoned our school for a whole year. Wait, hold on. It's not like that. Too little too late. It doesn't matter what I think about you. The school still views you as one of the top female students at this school. So I'm going to use you as practice for the carnival. Ah, uh, is that all you want? Then get your game on. Alrighty, I'll go first. And I'll start off by summoning up the Iron Chain Snake in defense mode. Then join my turn. I'll place one card face down. All right, sweet, it's my turn. And for my first move, I'm special summoning out Gilasaurus in attack mode. I'm sorry, you what? You heard me. If I have a Gilasaurus in my hand, I'm automatically allowed to special summon it. And I just so happen to have two. So now you gotta deal with double the dino now. He already has two monsters on the field. I'm not finished yet. Next, I summon Kai Top Terra! Oi, now she has three! Now then, Gillosaurus, chomp out her iron chain snake! Uh. Next up, my other Gillosaurus! Attack her directly! Not so fast, I activate a trap card! Uh. My trap card now activates! Because I took battle damage, I'm allowed to resummon a monster from my graveyard, so long as that monster's weaker than the damage I just took! So I resummon Iron Chain Snake in defense mode! Alright, Kai Top Terra, it's time to see what you can do! Ugh. And that'll do it for me. I end my turn. Do you think you're impressive for summoning a bunch of monsters? Well, you aren't the only one who can summon a scaly lizard! I activate the magic card known as Double Summon! Now I'm allowed to make two normal summons this turn! First up is my Iron Chain Blaster! In attack mode! Then I summon the Iron Chain Coil in attack mode! Next I activate another magic card known as Star Changer, giving my Iron Chain Blaster an additional level! And so now I tune my level 3 Iron Chain Coil to my level 3 Iron Chain Blaster to Synchro Summon Iron Chain Dragon! By the way, for every Iron Chain monster chilling out in my graveyard, my Iron Chain Dragon gains an additional 200 attack points! So with that being said, Iron Chain Dragon, destroy Hagilosaurus! <laughs> Since Iron Chain Dragon dealt you damage, you now have to discard the top three cards of your deck! Ah oh, man! And with that, I will end my turn! Alright, look out! It's party time! I activate the spell card known as so now I fuse my Gillosaurus with my Kai Top Terra in order to fusion summon Hornsaurus! Next I summon Giant Rex! Next up I'm activating the magic card known as Fusion Weapon! This card can only be equipped to a level 6 or lower fusion monster! So now Hornsaurus gains 1500 additional attack points! Hornsaurus! Attack Soren directly! Um, excuse me, how can you do that when I have a monster on the field? Simple! Horn Source is a very special ability that allows him to bypass your monster! Go! Prehistoric Scream! Ah!